All right, YouTubers, I was at CD Saturday yesterday, and here is my haul. Green onions from the seed library. Um, common milkweed, also from the seed library. Hope we can uh, feed some butterflies. Uh, maybe not this spring, but maybe next spring and summer. And what do we have here? Heart-leaved aster. This is a native to Ontario. Tomato. Costaluto Genovese tomato. It uh, looks like it has lots of little bumps and interesting shapes, so that should be fun. And a small sugar pie pumpkin. So we don't have a lot of space here, so I'm not exactly sure where to plant this, but hoping we can um, get at least one pie out of this. And it says on the back here, it says the the pumpkins are about two to three kilograms each and one will make several pies. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and uh, ground cherry, love these. And I got two packages of the ground cherry. And cabbage, no, it's been in uh, the news recently that cabbages are so expensive now so that was kind of interesting but uh, we got a red cabbage here and Sullivan's milkweed this is uh, native to Ontario as well and uh, it's a little bit smaller and has brighter flowers than just the regular milkweed and um, yeah it's uh, again it's native to Ontario so that's that's kind of cool Here's my second package of the ground cherry, Urban Harvest ground cherry. And uh, the Toronto Seed Library, I've got this beet. This is the sort of the candy cane beet with the, the red and white stripes. And uh, I have here purple broccoli seeds. I have never grown broccoli, so that will be very interesting. I don't really know anything about it, and so these ones I'll, uh, I'll be um, sort of having to look up you know how to plant them and where to plant them and all of that good stuff so this is the evening primrose and I got it just because uh, the blooms open at night and I thought that would be kind of kind of pretty in the garden to see something in the evening uh, again that was native to Ontario this one is native to Ontario as well and uh, um, this is a thimble weed and apparently the pollinators really like this so I thought we could um, plant this in our shady area. The whole south side of the um, garden is, is blocked by a fence. So that'll be, that'll be kind of fun to see something pretty growing in there. And milk thistle. I'm not really sure why I bought this actually. It just kind of, it just looked pretty. And uh, I like thistles and one day when I have my farm, I would like to grow some thistles there. And uh, let's see, for my tiny yard, I sure bought a lot of seeds. Red sales lettuce, um, so yeah, uh, burgundy kind of leaves, and uh, that should be fun. Parsnip, I don't, I don't think my my uh, soil goes very deep, so um, not sure what I'm going to do with this parsnip, but uh, uh, we'll give it a try somewhere. Give give a few seeds a try. Now this, the scarlet runner bean, which is a pole bean, I saw a picture of this and. It, the, the, the blossoms are truly really bright, bright, bright red. So um, I thought that this would just be pretty, uh, pretty in the garden and, and also edible. So uh, um, that'll be fun. And Matchbox Hot Peppers. So these are like the long, looks like a long chili, um, bright red chili. So uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, uh, oh, it says here they ripen from pale green to bright red and uh, Yeah, so that's what I got at this uh, this year's CD Saturday, but I also have Excuse me. I also have a bunch more seeds um, That I got last year. So here's one through the seed library buttercup squash um, I wasn't really successful uh, in gardening last year anything I garden that came up um, the squirrels tried to eat it or the raccoons so I lost uh, something there um, this is uh, Easter egg radish so 
Um, these are supposed to kind of be all different colors and I thought that would be very fun. I didn't um, I didn't uh, pick them in time so I just let them go to seed and I saved those Easter egg radish seeds. Chard, this rainbow chard, um, so that should be um, fun. And uh, let's see what else I've got here. It's um, a fox cherry tomato. Nasturtium trailing mix. I really hope I can get these nasturtiums to grow. I didn't have good luck last year with the nasturtiums. Peas, sugar snap peas. I did grow these in um, a pot last year and uh, I did get a pea very early on. And um, uh, and then and then it was eaten by squirrels. And uh, edible flowers. I planted this. I planted some of these in a pot, and uh, yeah, they were really pretty. Um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't eat any of them. Um, the The cornflower came up, and the cilantro came up, and I think I had a little bit of the cilantro, but um, I don't know calendula borage and, and the sunflower didn't come up at all but um, the other ones um, yeah I, I tried eating one of them but it just didn't taste really great to me so um, but I uh, love cilantro and the the cornflower was just really pretty so here are more of these these beets um, the candy cane beets uh, so yeah we'll see maybe I'll plant both both of those this year and see uh, um, how they turn out uh, from this year's and last year's and uh, the tiny Tim cherry tomato these actually I put these in a pot and we got lots of cherry tomatoes the squirrels absolutely love them um, my daughter loved them as well she took them off when they were green and stomped on the green tomatoes on the floor so I, we didn't get to eat very many um, but had we eaten everything that had grown it would have been uh, would have been a pretty good deal for us Oh, sorry. This this was the pea that um, that grew in the pot that was so uh, so early. It was kind of interesting. It, it the plant grew really really quickly and shot one pea right off the top, and uh, but that took quite a little long time for the rest of the peas to uh, to get growing. And the summer squash. I planted this really late, um, which is too bad but um, we had a lot for, I think for just a couple of seeds that I planted, we had a lot of squash grow. So I'm definitely gonna try that again this year and, uh, and see how it goes. So that was uh, this year's and last year's um, haul from A Seedy Saturday.